Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, before we tested the most powerful PC for Unreal Engine 5, now we're going to be testing the same exact PC in NVIDIA Omniverse. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, check out the link in the description. I'll put it in the top right corner of this video. But pretty much, we're going to be testing out a $53,000 computer with four RTX 6000 ADAs in NVIDIA Omniverse. Now, spoiler alert. In Unreal Engine 5, it didn't really use the GPUs properly, but good news. In NVIDIA Omniverse, spoiler alert, it will, okay? So what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to open up USD Composer. Now, this is NVIDIA Omniverse Create. If you're familiar with that, they just changed the name to USD Composer. Don't ask me why. So we will launch that because I actually want to show you how fast this loads. And again, this is a virtual machine. I do not have this machine physically here in the house. It is a furniture. It's not going to fit in my room. So here it is. It's loading up. This is real time. Omniverse Create 2022.3, aka USD Composer, aka NVIDIA Omniverse. So here you go, RTX loading. Now, right off the bat, Composer sees the four RTX 6000 ADAs, as you can see on the top right corner of our uh, editor here, which is very good. So we have SLI enabled once again um, in this desktop here, and that's it. It's loaded up. That's fairly quick. And as you can see, this thing is using a total of 237.5 gigs of VRAM. And let me show you that it is SLI. That's the Unreal one. So if I go to control panel, I have it set to maximize 3D performance right here. And again, this is RenderBox's computer. If you want to configure one yourself, go check it out. I'll put the link in the description again. So here we go, NVIDIA Omniverse. I did create a small forest scene here. So I'm going to open it up. It's kind of hard to see. So I have this collected conifer, conifer, Jennifer forest. I'm just going to say don't, don't save. And I just put a bunch of trees in here, some Mavi maps in here, because we can't use mega scans in Omniverse or MetaHumans for some reason. So I have to like find other stuff. So I'm just gonna wait for this to load up. And once this is loaded, this is all real time. I'll I'll leave it real time. I'll just talk to y'all. Um, so how's your day? Oh, it's great. That's oh, amazing. Okay, so it's loaded again, super quick with my RTX forty ninety. This scene right here did not load that fast. So right now in the editor, it's using five gigs of RAM, 240 frames per second in the editor. Okay, and again, I'm gonna be lagging in here because this is a virtual machine. So we'll go up. And the first thing we're gonna do is editor. Similar to the Unreal Engine test, we're gonna do the end editor first. So I'm gonna go to path tracing and uh, turn off auto exposure. If I go now to path trace right here, not post processing. All right, so I turned off the noising because I don't, I just don't like it. it. Just mushes it. It looks like there's VIX on the image. I'm gonna go to path trace and I set it to 2048 samples per pixel. Once again, this is what we've been testing on. So just like that, I am gonna go maximize this level viewport as much as I can because I am not gonna take it easy on this. And if the power goes out in United Kingdom, it's not me. So let's go right here in real time, and we're gonna change this to path trace, and let's see how fast this resolves. And as you can see, and boom, it's using all four of them. And you can see that it's using five gigs, four gigs out of 41 gigs. Um, so it's not utilizing the entire thing, it's splitting it up, equaling 20 some gigs, right? So right there, it's gonna resolve 27 seconds right now and the that's kind of cool because you can see the screen resolution right now is at you know 1183 by 700 so it's using all that stuff and just make sure that we do have multi gpu enabled in the path trace right here if i go down right here it's going to make sure that we have path trace multi gpu yep it's checked so that's working properly so it's about 42 seconds that is insanely fast for path tracing that is not a thing <laughs> okay, but that's that's pretty impressive there. But obviously, I don't really care too much about the editor. I care about 
the render speed. So let's go ahead and go render this out. And I'll go to Windows and rendering. We're going to go to the movie capture now. And, and here we are going to render, yeah, sure, a couple of frames. I'm going to not just render one uh, image. I'm going to render like a couple so you can see the progression. And let's see here. I'm going to go to the new folder. I'm going to create a new folder here. And I'm just going to say trees new because I did some test already with this earlier. All right, so this is where the interesting part goes. So I'm going to go 1920 by 1080 because honestly, in Unreal Path Trace mode, this is the highest I would go. All right, this is just, it's too crazy if you go higher than that. We're going to have path tracing. And in here, samples per pixel per iteration, useful for multiple GPU, I'm going to put 256 in there. Uh, path trace SPP will be 256 as well. And then down here, the subframes per frame is 16. So if you multiply 256 by 16, that's going to be 4,096 samples, y'all. I don't even render that in Unreal. It, I just don't because it would take business days. Okay, so this is a lot. I think 4096 samples for me is the perfect spot when rendering path tracing. Okay, so here we go. Um, so I have this in here. I'll just name this new trees. We're, we're sampling at 24 frames per second. And we do have a small camera movement in here as well. So if I minimize this real quick, let me show you that. Press play. The camera is going to move forward because, again, I want to see motion in this, not just a still. All right. So let's go back to the movie capture. And I'm going to pull up. I'm going to go make this bigger, actually. Let's go ahead and make this bigger. I'm going to pull up the task manager. Okay. I'm going to pull that up here on the side so we can kind of see what this is doing. Right now, it's pretty chill. It's not using too much. And I will just say capture sequence, and I'm going to pull this back up and I'm going to move this up because there's a, uh, there's a glitch right now that there's a logo that shows up right in the middle of the scene, but hopefully I can move this up. Okay. Not. It's fine. All right. So we have the task manager right now, and I just moved that up just a little bit and here we go. 63%. This is looking good. This is what I would have wanted to see in Unreal Engine. All GPUs being used. And man, we were rendering 280 frames in two hours and 36 minutes at 4,096 samples per pixel, y'all. This is the fastest path tracing render I have ever done ever. This is crazy. If you've rendered path tracing before, this is unheard of. Okay. And if I go to the trees right here and go to trees new, if you look at these image, if you look at this image, again, this is a virtual machine, so it might be a little blurry. It's rendering this. And how many seconds per? 18 seconds per? 18 seconds per frame at 1080p. 4,096 sample per pixel, man. This would take me days, probably a couple of days. And, and again, what I really want to happen is this speed in Unreal Engine, or Tim Sweeney give us metahumans in Omniverse. You know, we, we got to meet somewhere in the middle. If you don't want to give us full-on path tracing render with multiple GPU in Unreal Engine 5, let us use the metahumans in Omniverse at least, man. You know, for, from one Bojangle lover to another, please let us use the metahumans in NVIDIA Omniverse because this speed right here will help a lot of rich studios that can afford this computer. This, if time is money, this is going to save them so much time and money, man. A two-hour render 
at 4096 sample per pixel of path tracing is amazing. Absolutely amazing. But I'm going to stop it there because, because that's, that's, not, that's not good enough. All right? So I'm going to control A. I'm going to delete all these. So we're getting about 18 seconds, which is cool. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to crank this up to 1440p again, man. This is I this is uncharted. Actually, that was 480 frames. Rendering 480 frames in 2 hours and some change. That's even crap. That's like what the pancake. That's 480 frames that that was rendering in 2 and a half hours. All right. So here we go. Do the same thing this time around 1440p. This is uncharted uncharted territory not the game because the game's terrible uncharted territory right here y'all and again we're seeing that it is utilizing all the gpus which is what i want to see and if you live in the uk and your lights are starting to flicker right about now it looks like it's february 7 2023 over there in the united kingdom according to the time here then it's not my fault. All right, so here we go. Rendering 1440p at 4096 samples per pixel. It's rendering at 33 seconds, 0. 0.6. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. This is... I don't, I, I, got, I got nothing, man. I got nothing. This is, I know I keep saying it, but this is, this is the fastest path, Tracy. Render farms. I want you to think about how much money studios spend on render farms whenever they're rendering their path trace animations. Okay. Majority of animations you're watching right now are actually path traced so here we are again we're talking a 1440p path trace that's rendering 32 to 33 seconds per frame at 4096 without no denoiser on zero man And, 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 I, and again, I said it in my previous video, I wanted you to watch this video because this speed could potentially make it to Unreal. This is, and this is one of the reasons why I still have NVIDIA Omniverse in my computer, because I know that it can take a lot of GPUs. And, and what's banana nuts about this is Renderbox is telling me that they actually have an eight RTX 6000 machine. Double of what we're using here right now. Let that marinate in your head for a second. But but my goodness. That's all I got for y'all, man. A $53,000 RTX 6000. Four of them in this amazing machine it's not a computer it's a machine rendering in nvidia omniverse 